Good afternoon, evening, everyone. I don't know what it's probably right in the middle of both. I think it's about 5.30, 5.45, so late afternoon, early evening, here at Dimchurch. Now, I think I'm about low tide, maybe half hour before. Um, I can't actually remember. I had a quick glance. I thought, yep, I can get a little session in. So I came down to the beach to get that little session in. Um, it's only gonna be a couple of hours. I've just put one rod out and you can see there, uh, the second rod is just hanging in the tripod and I'm gonna go and put that one out now. And then what I will do, I'm gonna be bringing back in again. I'll show you what I'm doing. But I've got two rods and I've got a guest over there. Gemma has come with me. She hasn't got any waders, so she can't wade out. So I'm just gonna wade this out now. Get them both out into the rest. Hope we can get ourselves a thorn back. Right, let's get wading. Yeah, we're nearly three foot here. It's up to my waist. So this is a good spot to cast. So let's get this out. We're gonna go at one o'clock. That way. And that's flown out there. So I am at 70 yards from the tripod. I'm just waiting out another 100 yards more. So I'm gonna turn Get the bail arm over, completely loosen the drag. That'll pick up any slack line, but it won't pull that grip lead out. So let's get this back in the tripod. Because you never know, could have a bite on the other rod. So I've got both rods out now. They're both in the tripod. They're both at around about 170, 180 yards. But this water's still dropping. Um, and it's the last bit of the tide going out is dropping still quite quickly, which is surprising. But still, I should be in deep enough bit of water, uh, four, four or five foot, should be enough for whole rays. In church, does throw up some really good rays all the way through here, all the way down through high ranges as well. I'm at Bedout Corner here, and I've got my trusty two rods that I normally bring with me. So let's have a look at them now. The one on the left is my Sonic Gravity. Um, I've changed the handle to the left because Gemma is going to bring in a fish if we get one on that one. Apart from the fact she's not there. She's gone to get a coffee because she's cold. So I may have to struggle um, with that one, bringing that one in if a fish goes off at any time soon. That is with my Shimano Altegra. I've got 20 pound braid on that. And that goes all the way down to about a seven meter shock leader. And I've got Synetic Skyline 32 kilo. And then on the right here, the rod that's set up for me, the Synetic Cross Power Heavy. And that's four and a half meters long. That's paired with the Synetic Cyclone Black Reel. That's on 25 pound braid. And that too is on Synetic Skyline Leader. And when they come in next, I will show you the rig that I'm using and the bait as well. Right, we just had a bite on this right hand rod there. Come on, are you there? I really don't want to be premature on this.
Oh, I got it. I think I've missed it. Or have I? I think I have missed this. So we can get rebated. I think. Yeah, the bait's pretty good. Just the tail end's been yanked off it. Maybe a dogfish. But let's get this baited up. Then I'll show you the rig and the bait. Right, so what I'm going to do is replace the bait like for like. So I had sardine. So what I've done is split the head section. There's a head. Sardine, I'll split it in half like that. I'm basically going to take the hard mouth bit off. I'll take the hard bottom of the gill bit off there. I also then had double sand eel. So I'm going to cut these to size. Take the tail off. I'm take the snout off just in front of the eyes. I'm going to lay them in there, like so. And then bait elastic them together before I get them on the hook. Try and keep this nice and straight. Let's have a look. And that is really starting to push in again now. It's just turned. Mr. Bite. Don't think it's from uh, the ray that I was after. There we go. Right. Here we go. Sardine and sand eel. Using all the sardine. That's a great. The eye is a, a great sort of attractant. Glistens on the bottom, and then you've got. And then you've got the scent as well. So this is not a big bait. And what I've got is a circle hook on this. So I'm not going to go deep with the circle hook. I'm going to go into one of the sand eels. Like so. And come back out of the sand eel. Like that. He's laying flat. It's flipping around, it's easier for me. Bit more elastic. I always do 50% of the elastic when baiting, binding the two baits together if I'm doing a cocktail bait. And then I do the rest of the elastic when putting the hooks on. So the bait is secured and then the hooks are secured to the bait. And this one can come down. This is not a circle hook. This can go straight through the bait. And out the other side if I can get it through. There we go. Like so. Up the bait. Tuck it under there. He's on black magic hooks. And they are super sharp. And look at the the point on that one. The DX point. It's like a diamond, an X-shaped point. It's very sharp. Now this is baited up on a pulley dropper rig. Let's have a look from the top. So here's the hook snood. There's the bait. That's about two and a half foot, maybe three at a push. And what that does with the bent rig clip up the top here, you've got your pulley bead clipped to your main line and you've got a spare swivel at the end of your rig body and you can pull that down clip it into the bent rig clip keep that tight and as you go down to the base of the rig you then clip it up into the imp like so wires in place and there you have it fully clipped up the other rod is on the same rig it's on a slightly different bait though Let's get this one out now. I'm getting wet with these rollers. Whee, yep. Right, that thing. Let's cast. Let's cast. Oh, it's just come on, clip. That's all right. Happy with that. Right, that's out there. A long way. Oh. 
Oh no, it's the wrong way round because it's for Gemma. <sighs> right, think about this and get into a rhythm. <laughs> oh my God. Well, well, well. There's me dragging it along. Thinking, God, oh, it's a bit hard work. This is. And I've got a pretty decent sized whiting on that rod. Didn't really know how to buy it. I've dragged him along 200 yards. There we go. Mr. Whiting, let's get him back. Well, so this pot of whiting was a little bit partial to uh, a bluey and sardine wrap, so let's get him back now. There he goes, come on, mate. You gonna swim off? I'm nearly back to the steps, so this is going to come in, and that will be it, I think. Yeah, nothing on that. 